Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. And it's a big rush there, so we're a little late today, that's okay. Um, a few years ago, well a long time ago now, uh, I was leading a bird hike at Burrow Woods, and on that hike, it was a spring migration, beautiful spring day, birds were really in, and there was a gentleman on that hike, he was probably early 50s, and I don't remember, we were seeing a, a plethora of birds that day, it was just a really good day, and a lot of these beautiful birds that are playing on the screen behind me. And eventually, I, know, I think it may have been a rose-breasted grosbeak uh, male that popped up. And, and I remember uh, showing it uh, to him, and he got him. And he said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, you got to stop. Hold on. Are you telling me these birds have been here my whole life, and I have never seen these birds before? And, and it was really kind of a fun moment because... And, I, and a lot of people really feel that way. I, you know, people haven't, there's so many people who haven't really looked for birds in their lives. Um, when I when I bought this business, you know, moved from the nature center world to this retail world, one of my big goals was to get people to look beyond their backyards. Obviously, I want to help people get their, their appreciation for nature and get their feeder set up in the yard and, and teach their kids and, uh, and enjoy, enjoy nature. But one of my goals is also to get you out beyond that. And that is to get your spark your interest enough to get you to go on a bird hike, you know, take, uh, go on a nature trail. And, and especially in a spring migration, people that don't have an ever bird watch and they don't, and they may have a stigma to it. They may not like the, the thought of, I think they're, you know, bird watching is for little old ladies in white tennis shoes, as it used to be said. But um, birding is a great hobby. And I'm just letting these birds play behind me here. And these are all birds uh, from the springtime right now. A lot of these have been in um, Central America over the winter, and they return this time of year. Bird watchers live for the next month. Every year we look forward so much to late, late April through mid to late May. That is the window of opportunity to see so many of these birds that are coming through. Some of these move on and nest much further north. Some of these will nest here, which is great. But we've been without them all winter. You know, we've had that that gray landscape and the treeless land, the leafless landscape, I should say. And the leaves are starting to appear, and these birds are arriving, and they're eating the insects that are eating on those leaves and and every bird hike you can go on, every time you can get out and look in your backyard right now, uh, take a walk at Parkville Nature Sanctuary, Weston Bend State Park, the great places around here to go for hikes where there's some trees and some habitat, you know, creeks and streams and fields and, and woodlands, mixed woodlands, old trees, young trees, all, all these different habitats house different birds. And so to see a lot of different kind of birds, you need to explore different habitats. That's why if you look at our bird hike list um, that we go on every Thursday morning, I like to vary the habitat. I like to go to take people to different places. This week we're going to be at Cooley Lake, which is a big open wetland area. Uh, last week, you know, we were uh, hiking in the woods at Baroque Woods and down in Blue Springs. And, uh, and we'll be up at Weston Bend on Mother's Day. And these are all places that you can get to see a lot of different beautiful birds. Um, Grassland bird, Dick Sissel, right here. You know, we, we'll have to go to grassland areas to see him. A uh, scarlet tanager, one of the most beautiful birds of the, the woodland forest. They love big old oak trees. Um, so we, we look forward to hearing him and seeing him every spring. Weston Bend's a great place to see those. Oh, great crested flycatcher, another bird that we really look forward to seeing every year. We've got a kind of a comical call, got a bright yellow belly. The most beautiful songster of all, the wood thrush. They can go on and on and on with these beautiful birds. But the, the reason I'm doing this program today is to kind of tease you, to make you want to get out and look for these birds in the next month. What you got to do? Get a pair of binoculars, good field guide, get out and start exploring. And, you know, you can always come by here and talk to Ruth and myself and Carrie and Joyce, if you found a bird that you don't know what it is, come in and describe it to us. We do it almost daily. It's a it's a fun hobby, it, and, and it gets out. You get a little bit of exercise as well. So, thanks for the idea for the program. Send in more. You know, we we uh, do these every week if we can. Uh, send in questions if you have them. Like I said, we're always open to those. Uh, until then, come by and let's talk birds.